my name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in our guest bedroom and I have stripped it apart and we are going to be decorating it for our guest. I just feel like this room I haven't shown to you guys in a while and there are some newer pieces that I brought into here ever since that we redid our master bedroom. And so now I wanted to like really redo it and make it just super cozy for whenever we have guests come over. So I have like a list of over 20 things that you need in your guest bedroom. Make it like the best guest bedroom and so comfortable and cozy. So we're going to go ahead and give a room tour of what it looks like before and then the decorating process and then going through each little thing that I have thought of. And if as you're watching this video, you think of anything, go ahead and comment that down below. We can add it to our rooms to make sure that whenever our guests come over, they feel right at home. So I wanted to give y'all a little glimpse of what it looks like before. I have pretty much stripped away every little decor piece. I've kept the furniture in here that I was planning on keeping. And we're going to add back with all those items to make it feel super cozy for whenever our friends or family come over. Now I'll go ahead and talk about this headboard before we start decorating. I'm not real sure if you've seen it on my channel yet or not. If you follow me over on Instagram at Simply Lake and Lace and you have seen it, I've had it for a few months now and I loved it. I got this for a steal of a deal. And this is an old, old headboard. Like I'm pretty sure it's way over 100 years old. I cannot remember what the name of it is. Y'all let me know if you these headboards before and you know um, the year that they were made and the company that they were made by. Y'all comment it down below, but I just loved all the detail in it. I cannot wait to decorate this up for fall and Christmas either because I already see somebody has a hook up there, so I'm sure that they have put their garland up there too. So I got this beautiful headboard and now it's time to make this room come together. First thing that I'm going to do to this room is give it a good cleaning and I'm going to be using my Thieves all natural all purpose cleaner. Now, I'm not going to be cleaning them with anything with harsh chemicals because as my guests arrive, I don't want them coming in and choking on all the harsh chemicals and those fumes as they're coming in trying to get settled for the week or weekend. So, we're just going to take this and wipe down everything. decorating. Now the things that I chose and wrote down on a list of things that I wanted to bring in this room to make the guests feel right at home were some things that I pulled off of Pinterest and online and then just things that I thought of like whenever I went to hotels to stay, some of the cozy features that they have, and also things in our bedroom and just a list of things that if I were to go visit someone what I would want just to make it a little bit more convenient and where I didn't feel like I was in the way of the homeowners where everything was just kind of right there in my own little guest space and so that is the things that I pulled from and so as I'm going through decorating. I'm going to be going through and listing out some of the things that I think definitely needs to be in every guest bedroom. So let's start with the next obvious. You need to have a really good nightstand for a lamp to go on, little knickknacks that I'm going to be showing you that I'm going to add for decorations, but also for practical use, and then also a place for them to be able to lay their phones and things like that. You also need to have a really comfortable bed and a really nice set of pillows along with some comfortable sheets and some nice comforter set. Now this one's all wrinkled up and it just looks messy but we're gonna fix all of that. Also I think that you need to have a really nice either bench or a chair that way your guests can come and sit down to take their shoes off or have a place to lay some of their personal belongings on or just if they're not ready to just get in bed for the night they can read a little book on the bench or chair. So I think either one of those would be great just a little sitting area. And then also you need to have a furniture piece that has the drawer storage so they can unpack their suitcase if they're going to be staying uh, for a few days or so they don't have to be going through and digging through their suitcase. So I would clean out all of your drawers or at least just have a couple of bigger drawers cleaned out. That way they can get in there and store some of their belongings so they're not living out of a suitcase. And then the next thing is a mirror. Now what would be more practical and that I would love to have is over here in this corner where the door is. I think that there would need to be a big, tall, full-length mirror. That way the guests can see what their outfit looks like before they go out for the day. But I do not have one of those yet in this 
door I am not ready to get rid of. And let's face it, I really don't have that many guests that come to stay the night with me. And if they do stay the night with me, they're either my best friends or family. So they're getting ready with me in my bathroom. So this video idea is kind of more for you that have out of town guests that you're not as close with. And it would just be awkward if they were in your space getting ready with you. But for me, I just settled with this beautiful mirror that I have had from the Facebook online yard sale. And as you can see, I did use my thieves cleaner to clean it, but there's a lot of, my thieves cleaner didn't leave that streakiness. It already has that like antiqued weathered look to it. So uh, that will not come off. I have tried everything and it's just an antique mirror, which I am totally fine with because again, we don't really have that many guests that come in here and you can still see yourself if you needed to. The mirror I do have on my dresser so we can check a mirror off the list. Here we have the more obvious pieces out of the way. Let's go through and start adding some decor pieces to it. So I'm going to go grab a few things and we're going to start with the nightstand first. So I think it's obvious that we all need a lamp on our nightstand. So I added just a lamp here that I actually received as a wedding present whenever Drew and I got married. The next thing that I'm going to add is this tray just to kind of add a little bit more of a decorative touch over here. Also, I'm gonna be adding a diffuser. This is from Young Living. If you have any questions about the diffuser or the thieves cleaner, you can just email me at simplylikeandlace at yahoo.com and I'll be sure to help you be able to get the best bundle out there for you. Also, answer any questions that you have about essential oils. So, we do not burn candles in our house. We do not like putting off those fumes. And so, we'll be settling with a diffuser in this bedroom. And so, I have this one, which is called the Haven Diffuser. It's very pretty. And then I have grapefruit and lemon. These are very nice. Now I would trade my essential oils out each season, but since it's summer season right now, we're going to stick with grapefruit and lemon. Now closer to like fall and Christmas, I would use things like Thieves, which is a more cinnamon scent. And then also Christmas Spirit, which is more of a Christmassy scent. So just a few other options. We're going to go ahead and get this diffuser turned on. A little secret, I wanted to decorate this side of the room first so I could have this diffuser going as I was decorating so it could smell really good in here. Now this has different light settings and it also has different run times so I have it set for three hours right now. There's a lot of diffusers Young Living has that have longer run times like I have one that's up to 12 hours which is the Aria and then there's one that's 10 hours but I'm going to be using this one in this bedroom that is a three hour run time. Not forget about having a little the canister by your bed and I need to fill it back up with water, but this is so the guests are able to refill their diffuser easy and I'll have to go back and forth to the bathroom. So we'll just set all this up right here. So we have finished the little nightstand. So I added a radio. Now, unfortunately this one is in my bedroom, but I'm gonna be looking for another antique radio. I just love these and where they're actually antique inspired. And so I'm gonna be looking for another one of these. But I think that a radio slash alarm clock would be great in a guest room. Now, most people can use their phones, I know, but just having this little touch just makes you feel you're like in an old town bed and breakfast or something like that. So I just love the idea of the radio and I wish I could find one that had a clock with it too. So I'm thinking I'm going to be looking for an old timey clock radio to go in here. And then I have fresh flowers. I definitely think that you need fresh flowers for your guests whenever they arrive. They just make a room so beautiful, like a special little gift to them. And I just think that they just light up the room. I love it. Again, the diffuser going, so as soon as they walk in the room, they smell the beautiful aroma, and then they see all the fresh-cut flowers, and I think that they will love that. Also, plants. I think that you need to have plants in the guest bedroom, but we will talk more about that later. And then over here, I also put in a little charging station, so all they have to do is drop their phones on that, and it can charge for the night. It's just very convenient for them, so that they're not trying to move things around and look for cords. Everything's just right here, very convenient. And then as I was talking about empty and drawer spaces, I think at least have the top drawer of the nightstand, if not all of them, if you can, cleaned out. That way your guests will have a place to store some things. Next, we're going to be working on the bed, and I just threw everything on here that we have to work with. I'm about to strip the bed apart. In the next clip that you see, you will see the transformation of the new bed. The bed is now dressed so much nicer. I ended up flipping this comforter around because the ruffles on this side also is just too much. So I just flipped it over and then pulled it back. And then I also had this quilt that um, I think my mom got from a thrift store. We washed it up. And so I have a quilt on here and a duvet and some sheets. That way if it's cold, they can layer. And I love just having a white comforter. I feel like it just looks crisp and clean. 
over here on this side of the bed, we need to add in another nightstand and have a really great idea for over here. And I think that is something that your guests will love to have so they don't feel like they're just rummaging through all your cabinets, your pantries. Everything's just right here so it's easy to grab if they need something. So we're gonna put like some water over here, some snacks, and then also some reading material because I have this perfect little nightstand that I picked up from the thrift store and painted years ago. And we're just gonna add in some books right there to make them feel right at home in this little area. Talk about how much I love this little area. So I just styled this with a cute little round basket that I found from the thrift store. Added some cute little glasses in here. And then I added lots of different flavors of drinks. So I have just a mineral water, a limeade, and then also a grape fruit soda and these are so good i love all of these and i got all of this from trader joe's and i just put those over here with some different styles of oranges and grapefruit and then some little snacks granola bars and then some glazed pecans so you could do whatever snacks you want to but i just thought that those were so good really good snacks easy to get to whenever the guests arrive and they're really good summery snacks also so i love this now to add a few of these magazines that i have these little Southern Living magazines. I'm gonna add these over here. To complete this area, I added a Bible, a little journal, almost like a guest book. So if they wanna journal their thoughts or write like a sweet memory that they had to stay in here. I just love those. We actually recently just went to the beach. If you watched my last beach vlog and they had a little guest book that you could sign and just tell the things that you did and what you enjoyed. And I thought that was so sweet. So I added a little journal in here and then also a devotional. And I think that this right here completes the other side of the nightstand. Now we're gonna go to this side of the room and I think one of the big things that you need in your guest room is a fan. I did not sleep with a fan, but a lot of people that I know do. And so we don't have a ceiling fan in our guest bedroom. So I've got this fan that used to be in our living room. I purchased it from Home Goods. It was only like 20, $25 very affordable and it just looks so much more stylish than those plastic fans i would even recommend if you have those plastic fans in your room if you're wanting to kind of upgrade them go look at home goods they probably even have these on amazon so pretty it looks as a decor piece but it really is more practical where if your guests get hot they can turn on a fan in the bedroom so we're going to decorate the top of this another thing that i think that you should have in your guest bedroom is led candles Y'all heard me say that I do not use candles in our home, but LED candles are my favorite. These run on a timer, so they will come on at the same time every day, and they will run between 6 to 10 hours, and they'll just give off that glow and just that coziness whenever your guests come in to settle down for the night. And then also a plant. Lots of plants going on in this guest bedroom. I'll keep showing you as I add them. This one is a little um, asparagus fern that I have trying to baby and trying to get it to grow and it's finally starting to get some really good growth to it. So hopefully this will just keep growing and cascading over and it'll fill in this area nicely. I also thought of a basket full of blankets. You never know whenever your guests are gonna get a little chilly and they're gonna need some nice cozy blankets. Now in the summertime, maybe not so much, but um, if you're like me, I'm pretty cold natured, so I could use a blanket all throughout the year. So I have a nice pile of comfortable blankets in there. And then also, this is my robe and slippers, but I thought it would be awesome to have a pair of really cozy slippers and white robe out for your guests. Now you could get these on Amazon, really inexpensive or TJ Maxx or Rawls, and just have them kind of tucked away in your closet or somewhere like that. And I would suggest if you're going to get slippers, just get kind of the biggest size maybe or maybe like a size nine or something and if they're too big on smaller guest feet then they will still be fine they can just slip them on whenever they get out of the tub or just have them on whenever they in their room relaxing getting ready to wind down for the night so i have robe and slippers in here <music> take a little walk around the room to see some of the things that I added. So over here, just another plant. This is an orchid that I have had for a while and I just put it in this cute little green ice bucket that I found from the thrift store. And my dad actually built this for us for our little unity sand whenever we got married and I painted it white and distressed it. And then up here, just some little antique finds that I added on the wall for some 
art. And this is kind of like the new cottage core. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that or not, but cottage core is definitely in this year. It just is a collection of a bunch of beautiful pieces that just take you back in time. And I love that. Y'all know that I love my thrifted and antique finds. So I'm loving the new cottage core style. And then over here, not much has changed. I did add some hand soap. I have lavender in this Genesis. And this is really nice to have for your guests, just some lotions out, some lavender to help calm them before they go to bed. And then this is a room spray that I made up with my essential oils. It has some lavender, peace and calming and stress away, some cedar wood in it. And so they can just use this to spray it on the room. They could spray it on their bodies or they can spray it on their pillows and sheets before they go to bed. So I thought that was a must to have. And then again, we have these oils, which I probably should have brought in some lavender and peace and calming oils too for at night that would be really nice for your guests to settle down again the flowers and then uh, got to be on the lookout for that clock radio we have all the beautiful cozy pillows lined up nicely on the bed and the bed dressed looks so cozy and then here at the bottom of this bench the slippers in the robe some pillows I added. I thought it'd be nice to put a fern right here on top of this crock that I have. And over here we have the fan, another plant. Plants are just really nice to have in your home. They help purify the air. I just love having them around instead of just a whole bunch of fake plants. I love having the real ones. And then this mirror, and I had this old phone. And I decided to put it over here in case the guests needed to make a phone call. <laughs> no, I had the old phone. I thought it was adorable. So I just added it over here. My LED candles. And then I dressed up this little area. And I ended up putting the little basket of blankets over here in the corner. You definitely need to have your Wi-Fi password ready for your guests whenever they arrive. So they can connect to Wi-Fi. Especially where we live out in the country. You definitely need that Wi-Fi. And then up here I just have a lamp. I don't think that you can have enough lamps in your home. I just love it with all the lights off. And then you have the comforting glow of that lamp going. So I thought this was nice over here. And then these are some pieces that I just thrifted. I have like a cozy little book nook for them to wind down at night with. Or if they're early birds, they can get up early in the morning, do their devotions, things like that over here in this chair. And this is probably one of my favorite little things that I did. I just loved this little corner over here. I added a blanket ladder and then a print that I got from an antique store. And then I guess I should show you all the top. I found these out of an old barn and I don't really know what they were, but they were very unique. So I just added them to the top of these window seals. And here's a look from this angle. I think this just turned out so precious. It's so cozy. I may have to take a nap in here after this video. I've been working hard in here. I was cleaning, vacuuming, everything. Okay, friends. So this is going to be all for this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed getting the guest room ready with me. I absolutely love how it turned out. I know that I did like a guest room makeover last year and I said, yeah, I loved it. It's my favorite as it's ever been. No, this is the favorite. I love it. So if any of you want to come visit me at the Simply Bed and Breakfast, come on. It's ready for you. If you're new to my channel and you're loving these kind of videos, you love these little decorate with me's and little tips and tricks on how to create certain areas of your home, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to comment down below if you have any more ideas on what you would add to your guest room or maybe something you would take away. Um, I love hearing ideas. It helps me out so much. Also, you can let me know in the comments down below if you have any place in your house that you're trying to work on and maybe I could do a video if I haven't already of that. I really need to get to my office and do my office creative space area. I haven't redone that one in a while in a while so maybe I'll be doing that one soon and then I have my garden that I'm still working on too so we have lots of projects going on around here. Thank y'all so much for being here with me today. I hope that y'all have a blessed weekend and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye y'all!